Behold! Patchouli! This is a brand new release from one of my most favorite American indie houses, Galaha Fragrances, which I will be reviewing today. So, please stay tuned for all of my thoughts about it. Hello everyone! Welcome back! Happy Monday! How's it going? I'm super excited about this video because it's a review on the new Galaga fragrance and it is about patchouli, as you've probably already guessed by its name. And this is one of my personal favorite perfume notes. Let me know how you feel about patchouli, which is to find in a lot of perfumes because this is a complex material that can add much to the composition and it is multifaceted. It can be different, green, citrusy, chocolatey or earthy. And all of those facets are explored in Behold, patchouli. I think I mispronounced the first word. It's actually not behold, it's halt or something like that, but please forgive me about that. And before we get started talking about my personal feelings and thoughts on it, I want to read you the official description and what Daniel Gallagher, the nose behind it, has to say. So, Behold, patchouli opens with a bright melange of orange citruses like bitter orange, blood orange, sweet orange, clementine and Tunisian neroli. Then follows sparkling almond frankincense, a cream soda accord and rich root bell like benzoin. Patchouli also tends to emit chocolate-like nuances, represented in Behold patchouli by a powdery chocolate accord. Sweetness is represented by honeyed amber and tonka bean. Rounding out the base is Australian sandalwood and a regal refined tonkin musk accord. The patchouli featured in Behold Patchouli is an eight-year aged Indonesian patchouli which compromises over 10% of the fragrance concentrate. And that is the official description of this fragrance and from it you've probably got how complex this composition is and I have to be honest with you, it did remind me a little bit of another best-selling and quite popular Galaha fragrance called Wicked Good and that's not very surprising because they do share some similar notes like chocolate and tonka bean but uh, in the comparison Wicked Good is more full Woody and truly gourmand, um, minimalistic composition and behold patchouli, although it also has those chocolatey powdery nuances, is a bit more complex and uh, those citrusy elements, they are in the opening when you spray it on, but not like a full-on citrus cologne. You won't get that uh, uplifting freshness, rather like a lively vibe which definitely brings in some sparkles to this pretty deep and uh, sweet composition, which is to me basically, mostly, is about the base notes, like tonka, like the woods, like the actual amber and the honey aspect of labdanum is particularly noticeable on my skin and stays on together with chocolate for a long period of time. For example, I've sprayed it on a couple of hours ago and I still can smell that powdery and um, almost like um, toffee, dark burnt smell of uh, the tonka bean and uh, honeyed, delicious, slightly sticky labdanum. So those are most dominant notes on me personally, but patchouli comes through in the dry down and I really like how this fragrance makes me wait for patchouli to appear. It's not patchouli right in your face, okay? Although it's in the name, I feel like patchouli is not the most dominant note in there, but chocolate is, at least that is my personal experience. If you have a different one or a similar, please share it in the comments with all of us. But like all Galaha fragrances, this one has an amazing sillage and in my opinion, this is such an appropriate release for the upcoming cold season because it's very warm, alluring thanks to its 
gourmand character it is also soothing and I personally enjoy to wear it in the evening when it is darker and in the night this is just a must-have for all the lovers of oriental, ambery, patchouli, Swedish-like fragrances with overwhelming chocolate presence. And I highly recommend you to check it out for the winter time. It's going to be amazing. Unisex perfume and the link to the official website where you can buy it is in the description box. So check it out. And now I have a beautiful collection of Galaha fragrances. So I feel I'm ready to share with you my best of this house. Let me know if you're interested in that video. And if you enjoyed this one, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, comment below your favorites from Galaha fragrances and please stay tuned and smell good. Don't forget to follow me on my social media where I live unbox perfumes and invite perfumers to the live streams. All the helpful information is down below and we'll see each other in my next one really soon. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye!